Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is the first time finding one of my, oh my goodness, look at that lady. If this is the first time finding one of my videos, welcome. I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like this video. So I am gonna just kinda, today's video is a little bit different. Usually on Fridays I post beauty videos and like maybe I'll sprinkle in some like beauty related stuff in this vlog. It's a good vlog, but I didn't tell you that. Um, but I have been so crazy busy. I started back at work after three months and it's just been, it's been a mess. So I'm gonna kind of like just talk to you guys about that, like what I've been doing to kind of like regroup and really get back into like the swing of going back to work. Talk about um, this little guy's feelings because he, he's struggling. Oh my, that lighting. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. Um, yeah, but he is struggling, aren't you, Coda? Is it hard not having mama at home all day long? So, yeah, and then I am going to be getting a new camera, so hopefully I will get that this week so I can show you guys in this vlog, and yeah. Okay, so first we're just going to need to address the fact that you guys look at my kitchen. I typically kind of keep things, like, pretty darn clean, like, all the time. Not happening right now. It's a struggle bus. Have you, if you have been off of work for, like, even a month, um, let me know how long you were off work for if you've gone back. And also, if you've gone back to work, and just kind of like, what's the hardest part that you've struggled with? Me, it's just like time management. Um, it's Monday today. So I started back last Friday. So I've only been back to work for a couple days now. And just the time management. I went from having so much time to dedicate to my YouTube to now, like, I have a video that goes up tomorrow. And my computer's sitting over there, and I need to edit tonight because <laughs> I, st I, yeah. It's so hard. Um, Coda's looking at me like, Mama, you think it's hard for you. What about me? It's hard for me too. Um, yeah, okay, so I got an Ipsy bag in the mail. I see it's on my counter. My husband must have brought in the mail earlier. So we will open that up. That's like beauty related. So there we go. Um, I got some new shoes today. We went to um, like a sporting goods store. Because for Tate's birthday, I was going to get him a kayak. So we went to a sporting goods store that has like tons of kayaks. Normally we walk in, they have one left. So we go to another store and they had like one or two left, but they weren't like the right style. So instead of getting him a kayak, I got me some new shoes. <laughs> um, these are like the Adidas slides. They have the cloud foam, which is amazing. I love it. Um, let's unbox this ipsy bag okay so to go along with the struggle of being back at work um so i'm back at work now but unfortunately my place of employment will be closing um so in about we have about three months until we are going to be officially closed so my schedule is just way different in general going back to work so like typically i would work you know like nine to five or seven to three and now it's ten to six so it's like getting home at six it's just the whole new learning curve and I'm really struggling with it. Okay, so we got my Ipsy bag. Let's open it up and get some some retail therapy. Um, okay, so the first thing is this Hannah Lee pear, ma fa pear face mask. I actually forgot. I only do, I, get, I do like the every other month for my Ipsy bag. So I forgot this was even a month. So this is like, I didn't even get a chance to like usually I'll peek and see what I'm getting early. I didn't get a chance to do that. Um, another one of those Hannah Lee. This one is a pineapple sheet mask. Cute. Moving on. So there is a bag. I mean, it's cute. I don't really like things that have like graphics. I like more like just like solid colors. But I get what they're going for. I'm guessing it's like a women positivity bag maybe. Because there's a lot of like women on it. Make waves. Summer is more than a season. It's a state of mind. Okay, so it's talking about like SPF. Good to know. Um, let's see what's in here. So a brush. This is a, a domed blending brush. It's an Eddie Funkhauser. Eddie Funkhauser. I've never heard of that. Let's see. This will be a good one. Just kind of like, this will be perfect for a lot of times when I do my eyeshadow, I'll do like one style, like a lighter color in my crease, and then I'll go in with a darker one, like the bottom half of my crease. So this will be good for that. Cute. This is the Shayna B Miami. 
eyeshadow duo Ooh, that is pretty look at that that shade oh my goodness that's beautiful Ooh, it's right up my alley it's like and even like the other shade that's like very like on camera it looks kind of goldeny but it, it's like a warmer um it's more like more like poop color that's what it's called that shade is poop I can't wait to get my new camera I'm getting the Canon Power Shot G7X Mark II. I've been going back and forth between the Mark II and the Mark III. I, the Mark III has an external like um, like microphone port that you can plug in. I really wanted that feature, but I just think that the quality of like the video quality between the two, I don't think it's worth it for the price difference. So. Ooh, this is a highlighter. It is the Duke Duke Freematic Highlighter. That's pretty. Maybe I'll use these for work tomorrow. Okay, so the last thing in the bag is the Ciate London Wonder Wand Mascara. And let's try this out. I have some mascara on right now, but maybe I, I should try on the eyeshadow too. I'm going to go wash my face here in a minute, but I might as well try it out. All right, this is going over the, the mascara that I already have on actually pretty nicely. Ooh, I can't wait to try this out tomorrow on like clean eyelashes. Let's try this highlighter out. Do you hear Coda? He's just rolling around his, I give him, he eats his food out of a ball that he rolls around. Okay. My hair's crazy today. I went to bed with, bed with my hair wet, so, and then braids, it's a little wild. Now let's try this eyeshadow. I'm gonna try that really gold, like sparkly shade. Ooh. Um, okay. Pretty. I'm gonna really like, you know, like not that good of an application. We're just playing. This is the other shade. Like the matte shade in it. Pretty. Mmm, this is fun. Okay. Yeah. All right, I think I'm going to, I just want to like kind of do like a quick check in. I'm going to go and edit some of that video that's going up tomorrow. So when you're watching this, it's the video that went up on Tuesday and get that uploaded and ready to go so that I can upload while I'm at work because that's part of the process that we are working with right now is multitasking and I will probably come back check in tomorrow and maybe we'll do something fun after work probably not but maybe okay I'll see you guys tomorrow hey Coda have you been really sad with mama gone what do you do all day you just sleep all day long? Why are your ears on top of your head like that? Hi. Hi. Oh, thank you for the kisses. Thank you for the kisses. Do you want more treats in your ball? Should we put more treats in your ball? You're so cute. Look at those wrinkles. You got neck Hey, come back here. That was rude. That was rude. Come back here. Why are you so cute? Why are you so cute? I'm sorry for making fun of you. Okay, so I'm just washing my face, doing my skincare, and I realized that this would be a good thing to share with you guys because it's like kind of helpful. So while I'm doing my skincare, I always keep a notebook with me and a pen. And then I like kind of like think about the next day. This is kind of like a planning tip. Um, I think about the next day and the things that I need to do. So. For some reason, when I'm doing my skincare, um, that's always when I remember like what I need to do the next day. So I'm gonna kind of tell you how I do it. So like right now, I just have like tomorrow on my lunch break, I need to call and schedule a Botox and lip filler appointment. So I'm gonna write down like I just like have like a rough draft list. So Botox, lip filler, and then also I want to plan out next week's videos, kind of figure out like a baseline of what I'm gonna be filming. So 
whether that's like after work at some point tomorrow i want to brainstorm ideas so brainstorm so what i'll do is i will just keep this notebook and as i'm doing my skincare and as i'm thinking of different things that i need to get done tomorrow clean my basement and the laundry i'll write it down and then um after i have my full list compiled of the different things that i want to do the next day i will draw a line on the paper so i, don't know, I hope the lighting's okay so right now I took those three things, so I will just like draw a line across the paper, and then below it is where I'll write like one, two, three, four, five, and I'll put them in order of how I want them to be done. So like for like my Botox appointment, obviously I'm going to do on my lunch break, so I will just kind of like put that probably at number three, and like the things that I want to do before work, I'll put this in one and two spot, and then I can look at that list tomorrow and go down it and get everything done. So just want to share that tip with you guys while I'm doing my nighttime skincare routine and yes that's all i'm sharing today i'm gonna finish this I'm gonna go now i'm gonna go edit after this but i will i think i'm gonna go catch up on i've been watching there's this new tv show called it's like dirty john but it's like di it seems different than like the dirty john podcast i don't know so i've been watching that so i'll probably go put that on and edit while i'm watching that and then i will see you guys Tomorrow. Hi, I just need to book an appointment for some Botox and lip filler. Okay, um, which location are you wanting to come to? Brilliant Distinction Rewards. And they expire on the 25th. Okay, um, and then do you happen to have any Thursdays available? Okay, let's do that day. Let's do 9.45. Uh, lip filler as well, but I had another question about that. So I purchased um, a vial on like over Black Friday and it was like used within a year. Okay, so I am just getting ready for work. I called and made my appointment for Botox and filler. If I'll maybe have that clip in here, I don't know. Um, but I have it for July 2nd. So if you guys have any questions regarding like Botox or lip filler or anything, leave it in the comments below and I will do a full video on that and kind of like show show it when I get to that it won't be for a couple weeks obviously my appointment's not till the second but um yeah I'd love to answer any questions I've been doing Botox and filler for a few years now so yeah I can give you guys answer some of your questions if you like so leave those in the comments and yeah um I think my husband is hopefully going to pick up my camera today I there's one in stock, um, but it's about an hour away from where I am. I was going to order on Amazon, but that kind of sketches me out. I don't know. I bought this camera that I'm filming on now on Amazon, like, probably, like, five years ago, maybe six years ago. Um, and it was fine, but I just rather purchase from, like, an electronic store. So he is hopefully going to pick that up today. He's going to be going that direction anyways. It's just going to be a matter of, like, if he gets there before they close or whatever. So... Hopefully tonight I'll be able to show you guys my new camera or tomorrow and yeah, I'm so excited. So I have to leave for work in about five minutes. This is as good as it's going to look today. Wearing masks, it kind of just like, you don't really care how you look. Like I don't even do my hair because I'm going to be wearing a mask and I'm going to get hot. So my hair is probably going to end up going like this before the end of the day. Um, I'm also kind of breaking out a little bit from it and my throat's been kind of dry. I think it's just, you know, breathing in your own like humidity all day. I don't know. And then, yeah, so I'm going to go to work, and I will talk to you guys when I have something else come up. Oh, hi there. Did you just notice my new, um, my new earbuds? Let me take them out a minute. Okay, that was so stupid. Um, so, pretty pumped, you guys, because... I got the AirPod Pros. Um, I had asked on Facebook a couple nights ago if like it was worth it to upgrade to get the AirPod Pros, and I got a lot of comments saying that they're really good. So I purchased them finally, and I'm loving them so far. Um, I love the noise can cancellation on them, and yeah, it were they were pretty good. So I've just been playing around with those and just getting used to like the squeezing like you know like change out like noise cancellation and transparency mode and things and 
yeah my camera update on that it will be here hopefully tomorrow it says that if I'm not gonna be home I can have it rescheduled for a different location but I don't really want to do that like I just want to come home and have it sitting outside my door so I'm hoping they just leave it I might try to like I don't know if you can like reach out and like schedule them or like instruct them to just leave it at your front door um, we'll see and what else okay I'm eyelashes I don't know if you can see them but I'm wearing that new mascara that I showed you guys from my ipsy bag at the beginning of this video this is gonna be a pretty lame vlog but um if you're watching it you're probably in, hopefully enjoying it is this camera crooked are you kidding okay you might I might be crooked and sorry if I am so I'm not gonna fix it now Okay, I tried to readjust it a little bit. So I am just running over to Joanne Fabric because they have some like actually pretty darn cute home decor stuff. So I will show you what I get if I find anything that I purchase. I'll show it to you. Um, and then I think I'm going to run and get a couple groceries as well since we're getting pretty low on things. And yeah. So I will check back in with you once we get some stuff. If I get some stuff. So, that's my check-in. Oh, and also, I kind of showed a little clip of Coda. Um, he's, like, sleeping a lot today. I gave him some Benadryl. We, he has, like, this, like, red circle on his leg. It's not ringworm. They think it's just probably just a bug bite. But he was itching it all night last night and, like, just, like, scratching himself. So, he has, like, some red sores. And he's just, I don't know. They just said to give him some Benadryl and hopefully in the next couple days... He will be fine. I feel so bad for him though because the poor guy. He's also afraid of thunderstorms. And last night there was like at like four in the morning, three or four in the morning. Okay, this car is like seriously right behind me. Um, at like three or four in the morning, we had like a cell of thunderstorms go through and it, it was pretty large. So like it went all the way through or like it was still going like at seven when I woke up this morning. And thunderstorms at night he gets so scared that he just like goes and lays on the floor <laughs> and we try to get him to come up and cuddle us so that he like isn't scared but he just like wants to be as close to the ground as possible and otherwise he'll go in the basement which I think is weird but it's also it also like kind of in a weird way like I like that he goes down into the basement because like if I'm not home and there was bad weather like I know that he would just go down in the basement and be safe so like it's kind of like I don't know, kind of reassuring a little bit. Okay, I'm blabbering. I will come back once I, yeah, I'll come back. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. All right, guys, I'm back from the grocery store slash Joann's, and I'm going to show you what I all got um, because this vlog sucks already, so I might as well just show you my groceries. <laughs> um, okay, so first off from Joann's, I found this cute little, like, plant but isn't that cute it's like I don't know it's probably cute set on a shelf I don't know if I love this but I can make it work we can we can make it work um and then I got this adorable mirror you guys probably see a reflection actually we'll see if that's up in there um but it looks like this and then it has a rope to hang it so I thought that'd be cute hanging like maybe my makeup room or our bedroom I don't know we'll play around with it that's all I got to join so so both those I think it was $17 for both of those. I thought that was a good deal. Um, at Hy-Vee, which is a grocery store here, I got Coda some Pure Harmony, like, dog food. But we actually don't give this to him. Like, this isn't his normal dog food. This is just, like, he eats his dog food out of balls. Like, he likes to roll it around like the food falls out. And so sometimes we'll, like, sprinkle this in, like, as a special little treat. Like, it's not his actual normal dog food. But so I got another bag of that. Um, I saw these new kombuchas that I thought were just really cute, so I got them solely based on, like, cute factor, but this one is just ginger. I usually like, like, ginger kombucha, and this one is mango, and I don't usually have, like, try the mango ones, but, um, it was, like, this was the one that had, like, the most sold out, so I thought that that probably means it's a good one, and then I just saw this energy drink, so it's, like, healthy energy, but it's a... Like it burns calories as you drink it. Not sure how, but it's mango lemonade, and I thought that like looks cute as well. And then it's got some bagels because love bagels. And then I got a couple like snacks for work. Um, I got some cheese squares, cheese squares, 
cheese snacks. There's like individually wrapped cheese bars. I really like the, um, is it Good and Harvest at Target? I like theirs. Um, but I was at Hy-Vee. So I got the Hy-Vee brand ones and hopefully I'm sure they'll be just as good. I got some Enjoy Life Soft Baked Mini Cookies. I love these. Just soft and delicious. I got some chocolate covered um, milk chocolate crunch. They're pretzels that are just like dipped in chocolate. So got those for work. We're short on ranch. Also, I don't know why I decided to go grocery shopping like without a list. I thought that like since we were out of everything that I would just like know what to get when I was there. But then I like walked around in circles and ended up getting nothing like that we needed at all except for ranch. Um, but I got some Hot Pocket Pancake Crust Bacon Egg and Cheese. These aren't super nutritious by any means, but they're just like easy for like those days when you forget to make something for work. Um, this one is the drive through menu chick chicken bacon ranch. This one's really good. And then my husband and I like these devours, like on nights when we are running, like we get home late or something and we just want like a fast meal. Like these are really good. I like the sweet and tangy pulled pork and he likes the sweet and smoky Angus beef. So got those to have in case we need some quick meals ever and that was literally all I got so yeah all right guys so I think that's gonna wrap up this super lame vlog I hope you guys enjoyed it um I'll be back again on Tuesday with a hopefully like semi-normal video I'm thinking because I have that my new camera coming in tomorrow um that maybe I will like maybe I'll just do another vlog for Tuesday we'll see they're just like the easiest to film when I'm like short on time and I work all weekend so um yeah maybe I'll just do some sort of like work vlog like my work routine I don't know we'll see and yeah and hopefully I'll be on a new camera um but I will talk to you guys in my next video on Tuesday make sure you leave me a comment like this video subscribe and yeah all right bye guys so why didn't anybody tell me my hair looked like this are you kidding me I just went to the grocery store like this